And we're camping out. We're in the RV. We're in, where are we at? Keystone Heights. We're in Keystone Heights, Florida. We're going to make some Dr. Pepper bourbon chicken. It's her recipe. I have been looking forward to making this Dr. Pepper chicken for so long. It's got hot honey and chili powder. It's going to be great. Stay with it. When I'm in the RV, it's just easier, right, for me to have these bottles of seasoning. I'm using the Everglades Fish and Chicken today. Now look. If you don't have this, it's just not a problem. You can still make this recipe. Just make up your favorite chicken rub. I love this one. It keeps me from uh, having to bring in the RV like six, seven, eight different seasonings. Just gonna come in here and season each one. We'll do the back also. I'd like to come in then and add a little bit of this meat church, holy voodoo. It adds a little heat. You can skip this step if you don't want any spice. But like I say, there's a million recipes on the internet for chicken seasoning. You could just simply sprinkle these with salt, pepper, and garlic, and that will be just fine if you don't want to go out and buy this. I'll just finish seasoning the backside of these guys up, and then I'll work our way over to this A-Smoke portable pellet grill. Now for my smoke today, I'm using lychee pellets. I get these from A Smoke. You can see where we turn those over. We missed a few spots. I'm just going to touch them up. Right? Just want to make sure we get some good seasoning all over these bad boys. Let's get the lid down and get the smoke going. I'm going to turn this smoker up from the smoke setting up to 225. Hey, it's been one hour. Yeah, I'm camping, right? I don't have an extra burner or anything with me. So we're going to put these chicken thighs in a pan. Ordinarily, I would blend the sauce up ahead of time. So I'm going to make the sauce right here in with the chicken. I've got one can of Dr. Pepper, 12 ounces. I'm going to put about, I'm guessing, right? Your guess is as good as mine. Eight ounces of bourbon. And here I've got three quarters of a cup of ketchup. I've got three tablespoons of honey, right? We've got, I'll put all these uh, specific measurements in the description box. I got some tomato paste, and I've got a tablespoon of chili powder in there, two tablespoons of It's Incredible. Let's get the lid down, let it get mixed together. It's going to turn up to 300 degrees. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I just want this, like this sauce to melt, right? Because it's very liquidy. What we're going to do now? Put these thighs on here. Let that sauce thicken up. Like I say, if you, if you had a, 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 a bigger grill where you could thicken the sauce up, that would be awesome. Just showing you what, how I'm doing this while we're camping. These chicken thighs are ready. Look at that. Look at the beautiful color on them. Let me get these guys off here. We're gonna let them cool down. We're gonna do a taste test. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> the sauce is really good. Okay, so it's sweet, but it has like a savory taste too. So, it's so good. <laughs> and the skin is like crunchy. Mm, that's good. Right? Mm -hmm. It's good. You get that Dr. Ple Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper flavor. Mm -hmm. But And then there's like hot honey and you can have that. Honey, but, the sweetness. That's yeah, what I get. But then you can taste like a little bit of heat at the very end. It's so good. Um, wow. I'm telling you, that chicken is juicy. It's good. Hey, I got some more chicken videos down below. Check it out.